Hello everybody, welcome. Just in time for our next hidden video. Come on in, let's go. Welcome everybody. This is Larry the pin bug guy. Got my little timer. And welcome to Larry's Fountain Pen. Today is going to be a, another video on the Noodler's Ahab with a different twist to it. Today I'm going to be showing uh, a number six nib. I'm going to pull it out of another pen and insert it into the Ahab for you. I'm going to just use one nib particularly. I'm going to be using the Anderson number no. 6 nib. And I'm going to be inserting it into this Ahab that has a flex nib in it. This is my previous clear Ahab that has another flex nib in it. And then we'll be doing some writing comparisons. No, it's not a flex nib. So I just want to sh give an example of how the Anderson writes. Okay, and how easy it is to change out nibs. So, here we go. Let's uh, go ahead and remove the caps. I'm going to take out the Anderson nib out of this Jin Hao 159. And let me make sure my nib size is correct. Yes, it is. So, Always have handy some kind of grip. Makes it easier to pull your nibs out. And that's pretty simple, right? So, we'll go ahead and set this aside. And now it's time for the noodlers. I'm going to pull that out. And here's the nib for the Anderson's nib. I'm going to pull that right back in there. And that's pretty simple how that goes. So, that's that. And while I'm thinking of it, what I'm going to do since I already have this other... Ahab inked up, I'm not going to show the writing sample with this Anderson nib that has a medium nib. That was just to show you how easy it was to change out a nib on the Noodler Ahab number no. 6 size nib. But I am going to do the uh, Anderson 1.5 nib just to show you the line variation for the uh, noodlers, I mean for the uh, Anderson nib. So, let me get some trusty old paper here. First, I'm going to start with the Anderson uh, nib that I inserted into the noodlers they have. But we'll get this going on. And you can get a, a look how the Anderson Nib 1.5 writes. You just got to look how to insert the number 6 Anderson Nib into an Ahab fountain pen. This is mainly for those thinkers or newbie people that have just entering or thinking about coming into the fountain pen world. I know all you pros out there, you heavy hitters, you don't need this because you're up there, the elites. Well, this is for, like I said, thinkers or the beginners. And, and for me, because I always like to get a refresher course on how to insert a nib. Uh, I'm the kind of guy that uh, I always am learning tips from other people 
So I never put myself above any other person because Lord knows I've had my share of uh, uh, do's and don'ts getting into the fountain pen world. So here we go. Anderson pens. This is the Anderson 1.5 nib. And I must say that Anderson nib is a really nice nib. And I believe these nibs run like 15 bucks. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I'm, I'm thinking they do. But, you know, it's a very affordable price for a very good nib. And you can change out nibs uh, and have a lot of fun with the nibs and get the feel of what different nibs uh, write and feel like. Almost out of time there. And as you can see, no problems with the ink flow. Uh, the nib and feed kept up with the ink. And uh, I really do like the... the uh, Nib. I, I believe the uh, Anderson uses a Jovo nib, uh, and uh, the ink I'm using at this moment is the Diamine Orange on it. So there's a downstroke, and there's your cross stroke. You get a thinner line. can have a lot of fun with these nibs, changing them out, getting different uh, types of line variation, different widths. It's just a, a lot of fun. So now let me close this up and bring back the Noodler's Ahab with the Noodler's Flex number six nib in it. Really nice nib. Just a sweet nib. I, I really do enjoy the Noodler's Flex nib. And the downstroke and then the cross stroke. Tic tac toe. So now, just to show you the difference between a 1.5 nib on the, oh, if I get the right one, uh, on the downstroke. Here we go. And on the noodler downstroke of the flex nib. You can see the 1.5 is much is much more pronounced with that downstroke with the width, but that flex really lays down some ink and does show some nice line variation as well. Well, that's going to take care of this uh, video just to show those new folks about a number six nib, how to replace a number six nib into a noodler's. So real quick, let me pull out my trusty book and give you some a little bit more information about the nib. Be right back. Okay, back to the Ahab Noodler's Flex. Okay, again, the uh, uh, the Anderson nib is a Yovo, Yovo or Yowo, sorry about the pronunciation, uh, brand, and it comes in a two-tone gold-plated or a single-tone steel nib. And the available nibs that are available on the Anderson nibs are an extra fine, fine, medium, broad, 1.1, and a 1.5 stub slash italic. And you can change out a, a number six nib uh, with the Noodlers, uh, Monteverdi Prima, the Conklin, the All-American uh, 
in the in the Ahab, like I said, the uh, Delta Eunuch, the uh, uh, some of the Franklin Kristoff just have to see if the, what number six size they're using. Edison and the Jinhao 159, 450, 750s. And I think the Numos has a uh, number six nib. But you can also check my uh, review on episode 109 on Larry's Fountain Pens, and you can check out uh, the nib review I did on the Anderson nib, uh, and that should may help you out. But this, again, is to show how simple it is to take out a number six nib and insert it in a noodler's Ahab. It's not rocket science, really easy. And you'll have a lot of fun uh, doing this. You'll be able to test different nibs and see what your likes are and dislikes at a very affordable price, 15 bucks for a great nib. Now, that's affordable. So uh, if you think this is something that you might be interested in. Uh, you can go on to uh, Anderson Nip site and check them out or give them a call and just say that uh, you want to check out some nips and give them your order and they'll be glad to take it. So, all right, that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you found this helpful. And uh, leave your comments below. Um, hit that like button. That also helps me as well. So, uh, until my next video, be safe, don't text, and please do not drive. God bless. Later.